Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. This is Tanisha. I am Tanisha. This is the Fun and Budget Act where we talk about money, money, and more money. And we also talk about living a balanced life of having fun while also minding our budgets. In this video, I was once again asked to do a collaboration with Rochelle over at Healthy Budget Travel Love YouTube channel. And we are gonna talk about, well actually it's a challenge, it's a challenge. The challenge is to go grocery shopping and spend anywhere between 50 and 100 dollars here's the issue when she invited me to this challenge i had just did my grocery shopping the day before exhibit a this stained receipt because i had to dig it back out the trash can yes so my take on this challenge is this went to the grocery store the bill actually came to $136.80. We're going to subtract $4 from that because $4 was spent on body wash. Everything else was food items, right? So that puts us at $133. So I went over by $33. I already failed the challenge. I already failed the challenge. So we're going to do a different perspective. We're going to do what I would do anyway in real life like not even trying to make a challenge so what we see here is an example of what i actually and honestly spent without even having a challenge in mind what i know is that i have to lose 33 dollars and so i'm going to go through my receipt and we're going to talk through where i could have made better choices okay so in this video, you see exactly what I bought because I did do a haul when I came home. And at the time, everything was completely necessary and everything had a plan in my mind. I know the meals that I'm going to make with these groceries. I know what was necessary. I also had to compromise because Jay was with me and he's greedy. So I had to try to talk him out of things or downplay things. And then the stuff I wanted to buy, he tried to talk me out of. But hello, I'm the woman of the house. I know what we need in this house. So none of that mattered. Um, but when this challenge was put in front of my face and I was like, oh, wait a minute, $100. What would I have done differently? Come to find out, some of the stuff Jay said may or may not have been true. And of course, everything that I suggested was always true. So let's go through this. What I would have done differently is, we would not have purchased hot sausages. I think I got these sausages, A, because I had them before to make spaghetti. And when I had some leftover sausages, we just made like sausage sandwiches. And they were so good. I never eat sausage sandwiches. So when Jay was like he wanted to get hot dog buns and hot dogs, in my mind, I'm thinking, why are we going to eat hot dogs when we can eat sausages? Babe, if you don't put them hot dog buns back, <laughs> we don't, we're not, oh, babe, we are not eating hot dogs. So then you put your hot dog in your white bread. You don't need a hot dog bun for that. <laughs> Why are you trying? No, fine. Keep your little hot dog bun. It's fine. It's fine. But this is this is exactly how we stop messing up. Cause you getting this ridiculous stuff just because you ain't ate in a long time. <sighs> now this wasn't the best financial decision because with the sausages. We only got five of them in the pack and they came up to $4.48. So nearly $5 for five sausages when of course we could have got way more hot dogs for that price. So let's strike up the sausages. Shouldn't have got those. And of course, if we didn't get sausages, we wouldn't have needed hot dog buns to the tune of $2.28. Now, the next thing that I'm not normally big on when I grocery shop is snacks. But Jay is a huge snacker. But what I should have done a little better was strategize over the snacks we 
did purchase because I do think that we got way too many snacks y'all let me tell you in the snacks we got Jay snacks he got the Swiss rolls he got the popcorn he got the, um, Fritos, and he got the hummus now what we wouldn't have gotten had I been mindfully doing this challenge we would not have gotten Swiss rolls they were a dollar eighty six we would not have gotten the Fritos, which were $3.98. We would not have gotten the hummus, no Fritos, no hummus, which was $3.34. And we would have kept the popcorn. My reasoning for this is for the simple fact that popcorn is always good. We don't seem to eat popcorn very fast because, A, you got to pop it, and we usually save it for movie nights. So that would have been a snack, or that is going to be a snack that actually lasts. At the time that we went grocery shopping, we actually had some cake left over, so therefore we wouldn't have needed the Swiss rolls because we would have had the Swiss rolls and cakes, which wasn't necessary to have two things. We still have a ton of crackers, and we have peanut butter and jelly, so if you do need to feed your sweet tooth, we could have went in that direction instead and of course we have apples and we still have oranges and so we did not need all of these snacks i also purchased and it was on me my decision because i was being big ball up in the store we had got some lunch meat and he had got honey ham and i said hey why not get another lunch meat too and go you know we can have like our sandwiches can do the most and so i picked up a pack of pastrami now, what I wouldn't have done is I wouldn't have gotten the pastrami for the tune of $3.28. Jay also had this thing in his mind where he wanted to make empanadas, right? And so he's seen this dough thing, I don't know, this the dough, the stuff that you can fill in and make the empanadas. And so he wanted that. It wasn't necessary, and that came to $3.26, but y'all, I must be real. He has made the empanadas using that, and they are actually pretty bomb. So, I don't know. I think this dough thing might be a staple in our house because what we found... Oh, my goodness. I'm so excited. I don't... I don't know if I have footage of the empanadas, but what we found is, because he was experimenting, you can practically stuff anything in this dough and put it in the air fryer. O M G. He brushed it with some egg. Egg yolk. So he brushed it with some egg. I think he did some butter or maybe just oil, I'm not sure, in the air fryer. And um he stuffed it with I had made spaghetti. <laughs> So he, there was some spaghetti sauce that was still left over, like a spaghetti meat sauce. He stuffed some with spaghetti meat sauce. He stuffed some with the ham and cheese that we bought. He stuffed some with the pastrami and cheese that we bought. And then he also made some that was just cheese. They were actually pretty good. So I do think that we stumbled upon a fine. But had I been doing this challenge at the grocery store, we would not have got those the empanada dough and we would not even have discovered this awesomely easy and super great not just a snack but it makes a great terrific lunch you can make a whole meal get you some rice and whatnot and you can have a whole dinner with a variety of empanadas that you make these next two things i shouldn't have got we must have been a little bit hungry when we went to the grocery store i always try not to go to the grocery store hungry because you do make some gluttonous decisions. So, I got some pancake mix. The reason why, and the pancake mix was $2.50. The reason why I got this pancake mix, mix is because it was Angie Mama, Buttermilk Complete, which I feel is the best pancake mix ever in the history of man. Jay has some generic pancake mix here, and the pancakes just weren't as good. However, there is still some generic pancake mix left. Making it not necessary for us to have gotten more pancake mix the other reason why pancake mix was also a bad idea is because we also purchased waffles frozen waffles on this trip so you don't need frozen waffles and pancake mix i'm a big believer of one or the other but not having two things that's two things that's doing the same thing then i bought some more syrup again we have syrup but i felt like well when the syrup runs out we're gonna need more but technically, I should have just saved that for a different shopping trip. That was $2.82. 
This next thing that happened, I'm going to tell y'all to make sure you check your receipt before leaving the store or just be watchful as the cashier is bringing up your items because people are human and humans do make mistakes. What happened here is she charged for the parsley flakes at $2.16 twice. I didn't notice that until I dug this receipt back out the trash and looked it over and was like, we got charged twice, $2. Could have been $2 in my pocket. The next thing that I wouldn't have purchased to come so that I could have come under was Miracle Whip at $3.59. And the same, it's the same reason why I shouldn't have gotten the pancakes and why I shouldn't have gotten the syrup. Because we actually have Hellman mayonnaise in the refrigerator and it's not gone. I mean, it's getting low, but it's not gone. There is plenty of mayo in there. But the reason why I got the Miracle Whip is because I'm a Miracle Whip girl. We need Miracle Whip. Miracle Whip? Yeah, no, nobody oh. like no mayo. I like mayo. I like Cause you're nasty. You nasty. I like that. Uh, the one in the bottom. That's the best one. Hellman's. Yeah. I hate Hellman's. I'll try out the whip. Have you ever had Miracle Whip? Huh? Then try it. Let's get the small one, and you can try it. No. Yeah, you better look at them prices, bro. Fifteen ounces, twelve ounces. Yeah, cause the one you got now is that. Yeah, you still have some. What nasty taste? Can we get some butter knives? But butter knives are forever. <laughs> Jay is a Hellman's guy, but he says he doesn't like Miracle Whip, like it's too sweet. But little does he know, baby boo thing, when I make stuff using the Hellman's, I actually add sugar because it's not sweet enough. <laughs> Yeah, I also wanted Texas Pete hot sauce because to me that is the superior hot sauce. They ain't even had no Texas Pete. Y'all, where is Texas Pete hot sauce? What the heck is wrong with Florida? Who doesn't carry Texas Pete in a store? So yes, if we would have not gotten those things, we would have came in under budget at around $98. But let me tell you a decision that we did make that could have changed things also. We also purchased spare ribs and charcoal to cook the spare ribs on the grill. But those two things alone came to $21.50. So easily a good portion of the budget on just two things that's not even gonna make that many meals. However, Jay makes the absolute bomb ribs on the grill and I was just like we got jobs you know that's always my default when it comes to spending money um after I think it through we got jobs every now and again I have to give myself permission to actually splurge and spend so that was a splurge but it is so good his ribs are so amazing and I feel like with just the two of us here they should actually last longer so yeah, yeah, because when I was reviewing this receipt with what can I strike off, I was like, well, if I strike off the ribs and the charcoal, that gives me a good chunk and I wouldn't have had to strike off so many other things. But I was like, mm -mm, I'd rather strike off those other things than, get, than not have the ribs. Another thing that I should have struck, struck off, but I also got some honey. And I shouldn't have gotten the honey because we really don't need honey. We use brown sugar and I realized I'm not, usually I use honey with tea when I'm back at home. So I just felt like, oh, I need honey because that's what I'm used to. But I've been doing my tea with brown sugar and I haven't even thought about the honey. So that was actually a waste. And now since we're here and since I was able to eat some of these things, let me ask y'all something. Bananas. 
I normally buy bananas that are tender, that are kind of green. I really like, I don't like overripe bananas. So I buy them on the greener side because, you know, bananas ripen pretty fast. But lately, this has been happening to our bananas. Sometimes, like, within a day. And these bananas start off pretty green. And then within a day or two, they get these brown spots. Can y'all tell me anything about that? And then, I've, since then, I've had a chance to try some of the food we got. Because I'm going to tell y'all, normally when I'm at home, I'm a very conservative grocery shopper. I am. I, I hardly ever cook. And I rarely stray off of the beaten path. But being here in Miami with Jay, who is such a foodie, I've been trying to give myself more permission to stray off the beaten path and to try some things and experiment a little bit. So we got some things that I normally don't get. Like, for instance, we got these seasoned rally fries. Yeah, these were not, these are not the business. I will not be getting these again. I was thinking it was going to be nice and seasoned the way their fries be. And then we stepped out of our regular ego zone and try to get fancy and get these thick and fluffy Belgian style egos. These are not my favorite either, y'all. I was like, okay, you know, we should have just stuck with the regular egos. Talking about some made with Madagascar vanilla. I was trying, I thought I was being fancy, like really, as if they're really homemade. Um, but mm, no, they were not my favorite and we will not be getting these again. So that is it guys. That is what I would have done differently to come up under $100. And this is a process. Going through this receipt is something that I normally typically do whenever I shop. I do a review thing so that I can see if I was being as mindful as I thought I was being and just really question where could I have made better decisions. Again, I didn't do that this time. That's why this is in the trash can because I was giving myself permission to actually spend. And this for me was our groceries for the month of May. And my brain, and my brain, this $133 is going to last us this whole month. We ain't going grocery shopping again um, in my mind. So that's where we're at, guys. Thank you all for watching. Thank you, healthy travel. See, I got to say it slow. Thank you, healthy budget travel love for inviting me to do this challenge. You guys go out and check out her channel. And there's also a bunch of other fabulous creators doing this challenge as well. Let me find their names. Is K. Renee, Natural Fit Nurse. You Kai Lauren Lauren, I'm pronouncing you all wrong. Madeline Doll, the organized millennial, Sarah's Realm, my real life budget, Cam Y'all, Camrell's little family, and of course, healthy budget travel love. And I am your girl Tanisha, and this is the Fun and Budget app. Don't forget to thumbs up, subscribe if you're not a fat family member, and leave a comment below. Tell me your process. What are your best tips for shopping and grocery shopping and getting it done yet keeping it low? Talk to me.